you need three types of courage in your life. But first, maybe we should define what does not constitute courage. Defiance is not courage. Recklessness is not courage. In your face is not courage. Fearlessness is not courage. These are all manifestations of antisocial behavior and strong indications of a lack of intelligence, of stupidity, <laughs> not to mean too many words. This kind of behaviors would lead you to an outcome which is far from favorable. Courage is measured. Courage is reasoned. Courage is cautious. Courage is intelligent. It is a thinking man's reaction to a world which constantly poses threats as well as opportunities. And you, in life, you need three forms of courage. You need the courage to be afraid. Courage is about not being afraid to be afraid. When we hear about heroes, courageous people, they overcome their fear. They acknowledge their fear. They embrace their fear. They confront it. They experience it. They go through it. They traverse it. They come out at the other end, courageous, heroic. Courage is about not being afraid to be afraid. And then ignoring your fear to the best of your ability, accommodating it, assimilating it, converting this energy into the decision to overcome, to transcend, and then to act. This is courage. So the really courageous per person would never act recklessly. If there's a threat, if there is a risk, if there's a danger, he would first do his best or her best to avoid them. Only if he is left no choice, he would face his fear and then he would take action, make decisions, adopt choices, choose among alternatives. And this is true courage. The second type of courage is known as resilience or resiliency. Resilience is about not being afraid to be vulnerable. Resilience is the direct conversion, manifestation and expression of vulnerability. When you acknowledge your shortcomings, your failures, your defeats, your frailties, the chinks in your armor, when you accept your limitations, you become self-aware, you're grounded in reality, and then you can share, expose, demonstrate your vulnerabilities to trusted people, of course, because you are resilient to anything they may say or do. To be vulnerable is to be truly strong and truly courageous. This is why we are vulnerable in love. To some extent, we are vulnerable in sex. We are vulnerable in therapy. We are vulnerable among friends and family. As you can see, vulnerability characterizes intimacy. Vulnerability characterizes home. It's a domestic, it's a domestic reaction, a domestic element. Resilience, therefore, is the ability to feel at home where your vulnerabilities cannot or will not be translated into threats, where your vulnerabilities will not lead you deep into hostile territory. Resilience exactly like courage, is reasoned, measured, takes into account trust, threats, risks. It avoids 
Resilience avoids recklessness. You're beginning to see that courage has to do with intelligence. Courage has to do with self-control and self-discipline and self-regulation and self-awareness and self-consciousness and the ability to act in the world and on the world from a position of self-love. Being your own best friend is the most courageous act you could ever adopt. Which leads me to the last type of courage, strength. Strength is about not being afraid to seek help. Let me summarize. Courage is about not being afraid to be afraid. Resilience is about not being afraid to be vulnerable. And strength is the outcome <clears throat> of courage and resilience. When you are not afraid to be afraid and when you acknowledge your vulnerabilities, you realize that you need help. We all need help all the time. And we all get help most of the time. Strength is about not being afraid to admit that you require help, that you depend on it, succor, support, a holding, containing, accepting and caring environment, people who love you, you need help. But to seek help, you must overcome your grandiosity, your arrogance, your hubris, your um, misperception of yourself as capable or self-sufficient or self-containing. There are many obstacles to overcome, many hurdles, cultural, societal, and individual. It takes strength. Strength is when you admit, I need assistance. I can't do it on my own. I'm vulnerable and I'm afraid and I need someone to hold my hand and guide me to where I would feel safe and secure and stable and regulated again. These are the three forms of courage you need in life. The courage to be afraid, the courage to be vulnerable, and the ultimate form of courage to seek other people's help. For what does it mean to be human if not to be integrated with other people in networks? To be human is to be relational. To be human is to act interpersonally. You can't be human all on your own, atomized, isolated, cast away on an island of your own making. To be yourself, you need others.